Hello design masters! In this video, I will demonstrate how to make a woman's knit sweater in close 3D easy step by step. This includes drafting the pattern, fitting it onto the avatar, and then apply the knit texture as well as applying the knit property to the garment. This video comes with measurement and formula to create the perfect knit sweater. Okay, let's get started. I'm here in flow. Before we begin drafting the pattern, let's have a look at the measurement and formula needed to draft this knit pattern. Here we will use the default avatar and we have two sections, measurement and formula. We will begin by drafting a back pattern and using these number and formula. For example, the top length is 6 to 3, hip circumference is 22.5, and the rest we will refer to these measurements and formula throughout this course. So if you want to begin drafting the back pattern, simply use this rectangle tool, click one to select, click one on the page here. Then I'm going to type in the width of 22.5. Press on the tab key and I will type in the height of 63. After that, we'll click on OK to confirm. Next, I will bring that pattern up a little over here. And I'm going to come over here to this 3D toolbar and click on this reset to the arrangement all and let's zoom in a little and i will create four internal lines from the top and four from the center simply click one right here right click and then select offset as internal line then i'm going to change this number to four and then distance individual perfect offset from is selected line that's what we want let's expand this window a little and i'm going to type in the value of 1.5 then press on the tab key in this case i will type in four for the neck depth and then down here i'm going to type in 22 and then 35 after that i'm going to click on ok next i will click one on the center line right click and then select offset as internal line and by default i have four for the number of offset perfect once again let's expand this window a little and then i'm going to type in the value of 8.5 press on the tab key and i'm going to type in the value of 18 for the shoulder length and right here i'm going to type in 20 for the waist circumference and over here i'm going to type in 22 for bust circumference after that i will click on ok and then i'm going to lock the pattern outline here and then we want to convert these internal line to baseline simply my key selects all the line right click and then convert to baseline and we want to lock the baseline simply click on that lock icon there to lock next we want to draw the back pattern shape simply come over here to this internal polygon shaft line tool click on it to select click one right here and then come up here and then come over here to this point and then simply come down here and i'm going to click one right there and then come down here click one and then zoom in we want to simply click toy here to end the line okay next we want to convert these to curve. Simply use this added curvature tool. I'm going to begin by converting right here for the neck curve. And then we want to convert the arm hole here. Simply click and drag in just like that. Then I'm going to convert these to curve as well. I will use a different tool though. I will come over here and then select the smooth curve tool. Click on it. Click one on that. Drag it outward. Right click. And I'm going to click on this link icon here and then type in 7. After that, we'll click on OK. So next, we want to draw the front pattern shape. Simply switch the tool to this edit pattern tool. Click one on the page to deselect. OK. And then we want to click one on this top pattern up here. First of all, I have to unlock all the pattern outline first before I can do that. And then click on this top part right there, right click. And then we want to select offset as internal line and i will change that to one and we want to change the value to 12 for the front neck depth and then click on ok next we want to create two more internal line from this back pattern shoulder slope okay click one right there right click and then select offset as internal line i'm going to change that to two and change the value one centimeter and then press on the tab key and change this one to 1.5 after that we want to come down here and then check this reverse direction Okay, and then we'll click on OK. Next, we want to convert them to the baseline. By default, I have two of them already selected. I will press on Shift and then click on this line as well. Right click and then select Convert to Baseline. Then we want to lock them as well. All right. After that, we will draw a front pattern shape. Simply use that, once again, internal polygon shaft line tool. 
click one right here to draw it and then zoom in a little guy then click one right here then we want to come down here and we want to click one right there and after that click toy here to end and once again we want to convert these two curves simply use this edit curvature tool click drag it in just a little bit past the back pattern there and then right here we want to convert these two curves as well 